All right, I am out here exploring a unused or a rarely used little trail out in the Humboldt National Forest in northern Nevada. And uh, I'm heading toward a hot spring that's on the map. I don't know if it's really there or not, but it's been a, a rough primitive trail that hardly gets traveled. And at, after many creek crossings with no problem, I came to one that's got a soupy, swampy, muddy bottom and I've gotten myself stuck. So now it is time to self extract. Show you what I got. So there is the Jeep. Pretty well mired in. So I'm gonna try traction boards first, and then if not, I'm gonna try to set an anchor. Uh, try to winch myself out. I got nothing in front of me but sage, but uh, maybe if I tie into a whole bunch of different sage brushes together or I sink a, I've got my, uh, pry bar sink that far enough into the ground that might make an anchor or it could be a full-on dead man anchor um, but we'll see it's part of the adventure Okay, to add insult to injury, I'm trying to do a, a spike into the ground, an anchor point, but when I went to turn on my winch, my winch switch has come apart. So here's part of the connection and there's the switch. So I gotta figure this out and see if I can fix it. Good times.
hits keep on coming. Okay, so I've made a little jumper as an electrical connector that I've taped on there, which is giving me positive control. I've got power to the remote. So now let's see if we can winch our way out. Okay, using a spike in the ground anchor, we're gonna try to winch our way out. That wasn't enough, it obviously started pulling the witch out, or the anchor out. Damn it. Are we getting anywhere? Okay, so much for that idea. Okay, round two, I've got a three spike anchor. Hopefully that'll be strong enough to pull me out. Let's give it a try. All right, I've added my waffle boards as additional traction. It work. Here we go again. I've got a dead man tire buried with a snatch block back to the Jeep. Hope this fucking does it.
Okay, I'm out. The dead man worked. Show it to you. A little better on this camera. That is a nasty, muddy hole. So there's my dead man. It worked. The line did get a little fouled with that sage brush. Whew. And here is the nasty hole. Okay. All right, the dead man worked. There's my dead man. Whew. I winched myself out. That was that was gnarly. I was a little worried. I still don't know how I'm gonna get across. I don't know if I maintain a bunch of speed and this is the bad side and then I can just shoot out the other side. I can only hope or I'm gonna be doing this all over again in a couple hours. I don't know. We'll see. So far so good. I'm out. I'm still mobile. Day ain't over yet. Okay, it changed 2000 very shortly after I proceeded forward toward what I thought was a link up with the highway. Again, there's one on the map. Fucking maps. It uh, turns in, there, the road stops because it hits a swamp. So that, all that dark green area, all of that is a great big huge swamp that's about 200 yards across. So there's no way I can get across that. So I'm going to turn back around, police up my gear, and uh, continue out on one of the other roads that is on the map that hopefully is a real road. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've made it to Forest Road 13, which will get me back out to the highway. So I am safe as I can be air up my tires and uh, get on my way. It's 3.30 already. Whew, I don't know where the hell I'm going to stay tonight. Well, I'll figure that out. It was a heck of an adventure. It was fun exploring those old uh, back two-track two forest service trails. It's an adventure. That's why I'm here. Right on the road. Nice. Go, go, go! I'm ahead of you now. Sunflower Flat, McDonald Creek, and 20 Gold Creek. 